The Colgate Comedy Hour. Starring Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis. With Mary McCarty. Benny Rubin, Sheldon Leonard, Danny Arnold, Faye McKenzie. Saul Seal Time and Wheel, Bird and Wheel. Presented by the Colgate Pummel of Pete Company, makers of Halo Shampoo. Ajax Cleanser. Fab, the new wash day suds. And palm olive lather shaving cream. And now, the Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis Show. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another session of Guess the Guess. Our panel tonight consists of those international celebrities, Wanda Wick, a Harvey Foon, <laughs> Bernie Sneed, and Arnold Wee. And I'm your moderator, Sidney Swope. And now to our first game of Guess the Guess. A panel, cover your eyes. You know, peeking now. You're good. Now, will our two guests check in, please? guests this evening. Now, let's see if you can identify them. Come on, try and guess who we are. Come, come, uh, come. They, uh, they know us in, in every home in the country. Oh, you're plumbers. Oh, shut up. Plumbers. Plumbers? How what, can we be plumbers? What, is she crazy or something? No, What no. kind of crazy dame is this? What, a plumber? What, is she crazy? What kind of an answer is this? Listen, maybe a little... Listen to this. Oi, Marty, oi, Marty. One is on not your best of it. Who are we? I know, you're not in show business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? <laughs> what, are they crazy or something? Where'd they get these crazy people? What is this? Let me get, come here, lady. Uh -huh. Lady, look, take the hands away. Look at me. Who am I? Robbie McDowell. <laughs> <laughs> crazy or something, lady? Hey, you, look, look at my partner. Take me. a look. Who am I? Look. John Carradine. What? What, are they crazy? What are you people? Not the dumb. Hey, wait, 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 Again, you made buffoons out of us. Can't even, don't even know how to spell your own name. Well, what do you want from me? I can't help it if I'm not well. Well, I'll tell you what to just forget the whole thing. Announce my song. I don't have to fight a one. I always have to announce your song, and I don't want to. You don't want to announce my song? No. Okay, then just announce a song. Okay. <laughs> hey, you're confusing. <laughs> L ladies and gentlemen, I don't have to tell you that we've missed you. We've been away from you for some time, but not because we want you. We've been working in pictures, and in television, we have a, a, a shop, you see, where we fix sets during the week, and uh, it just takes up all of our time. <laughs> and, uh, oh, am I in the wrong spot? Oh, I'm off the shop. Well, where's the place? Down here? Oh, I see. All right. Open the top, honey. <laughs> oh, over here? All right. <laughs> where's the mark? Wait, which spot? Oh, look at them. They're going mad. <laughs> You have a headache, haven't you? Oh, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, before we really get started, I do have to make mention of the fact that we have a new picture coming out that Hal Wallace, our very wonderful producer, produced. And it's a very funny picture. It's called Scared Stiff. Now, it opens in, oh, theaters, 
all over the country. And we want you to see it. Uh, Decoration Day is the release date. It's called Scared Stiff, and Hal Wallace produced it. And this producer is one man. Uh, so go <laughs> Everybody, hello. Halo Shampoo presents the inside story of the wolf and Little Red Riding Hood. Hi, Red Riding Hood. Where are you going? That's a pretty silly question from a wolf. Why, I'm going to Grandma's for a shampoo. And don't try any funny business. Shampoo, hey? Just a minute. What do you use for shampoo? This stuff. Why? Uh, it's no wonder your hair looks like a bale of hay. Don't you know soaping dull's hair? Halo glorifies it. You're sure this isn't just one of your tricks? No, I've turned honest. Come on, let's go to your grandma's house. I'll give you the best shampoo you ever had. Hello, everybody. Hello. Halo shampoo. Halo. Remember, soaping dulls hair. Halo glorifies it. Leaves it fragrant, dandruff free, and wonderfully easy to manage. So, hello, everybody. Hello. Halo shampoo. What a glorious feeling when you shampoo with Halo to be sure your hair looks its lovely best. Soft and shining, hauntingly fragrant, amazingly easy to manage. So next time you buy a shampoo, remember, get Halo. Soaping doll's hair. Halo glorifies it. <laughs> Mr. Lewis, in taking out this partnership insurance policy, you've made the smartest move of your career. Now, if something should happen to either one of you, the other one is protected. Yes, sir. A million dollars worth of protection. Congratulations, uh, gentlemen. About that. You know, that insurance policy, that's, that's a great thing. Yeah. You mean, if something should happen, just imagine, if something happens to me, you get a million dollars. Yeah, in cash. <laughs> of course, it works the other way, too, Mr. Martin. Oh, sure. Remember, Dean, if anything happens to me, then you get a million dollars. Right. <laughs> I know how you fellows feel. A million dollars a lot of money. Why, people have murdered for less than that. Sure. Why, yeah, I read in the paper the other day about a guy that... You boys have nothing to worry about. You're more like brothers than partners. Oh, yeah. so right. Jerry's like a brother to me. <laughs> Dean, don't! Let's... I didn't do anything. <laughs> we want to thank you very much, sir. Yes, yeah, thank right. you. And if we ever need any more insurance, we'll certainly get in touch with you. Yeah, thank you very much. Goodbye. 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 Uh, after you, Dean. After me? Yeah, yeah go ahead, Dean. After you. Be my guest. Well, uh, I... Well, uh, Let's, easy, let's go to... Easy, easy. <laughs> I'll have to finish the job later, Mrs. Martin. I'll phone you about it. All right, Mr. Cressetti. Yeah, in the meantime, don't use that garbage disposal, you see, because the pipes will be all stuck up till I get a chance to flush some chemicals through them, see? I'll remember. Yeah. No, I gotta go out this way. I got my truck parked in the alley. I'll phone you later. Oh, all right. Bye. Good, you can stay here. <laughs> Dean, what's the matter? What's the matter? My partner's gonna kill me. Yeah, we kill took out, We took out insurance. If anything happens to me, he's gonna kill me. Ooh, he's gonna kill Dean me. Dean Martin, of all the nonsense. Now look, I'm going to the store, and if the plumber phones while I'm gone, you... Dean, are you listening? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, never mind. Why, you should be ashamed of I'm yourself. I'm not ashamed of myself because I'm gonna get killed. You should be, yeah. I'll bet you that Jerry's not behaving like you. No, sir, not Jerry. Why, he loves and he trusts you. And he'll come over here the way he always does. And kill me. Full of faith and trust and confidence.
Oh, but that me off. I'm going to get killed. Are you all right, Mr. Lewis? No, I'm not. Stay with me. Please stay I with me. I can't stay with you. I've got a whole beat to cover. Do you have your gun? Do you have your gun? Is it loaded? My partner's going to kill me. Mr. Martin's going to kill you? Yes, he's going to kill me. Oh, you comedians. Anything for a laugh. How do you comedians come up with them? Well, we sit down at a table. <laughs> uh, uh, be brave, Jer. Hmm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> me! <laughs> me, Jerry, your partner. Jerry, who, my partner? Jerry Lewis, your partner. Oh. <laughs> should have a little old drink, and I'm going to mix it. You're going to mix a drink? Yeah. Dad's zoots. Shall I go along with him? <laughs> Why not? What do you got to lose? <laughs> huh? You sit uh, down, and I'll get you a drink. Yeah, all right, Dean. I'll, I'll, I'll wait. You, you make you a drink. You just sit right there now. Yeah, yeah Dean. No nonsense. No, all right, Dean. job. Of course, uh, this kind of thing, you know, gets awful messy. M mess messy, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, messy, yeah. If I was you, I would just twist the elbow till a trap opens and pour down a cup of sulfuric acid. Uh, sulfuric acid in the trap door to twist the elbow? Yeah. Oh, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> so, so uh, if you do the job yourself, remember, one cup of acid and your troubles are over. Oh, yeah, my troubles are over. Listen, after you pour down the acid, you will uh, hear some gurgling. Gurgling, <laughs> gurgling. <laughs> but everything will be all right. Yeah, it'll be all right. Oh, yeah. Listen, oh, yeah. after the gurgling, as soon as the, as soon as the gurgling stops, yeah. when the gurgling is all over, just wash away the remains. Wash them away. Sure, because it'll be messy and dirty. <laughs> I'm nauseous from this conversation. Well, good luck. I'll check you later. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Bonnie? Yes, Dean? Were you talking on the phone? Who, me? Why, of course not. Why, were you expecting a call? Who, me? Well, of course not. Isn't that silly how you can get all <laughs> mixed up <Confused>. about... <laughs> oh, it's oh. Oh. Listen, I wasn't saying anything about anything. No, you know it was that. a murderer. He was going to kill me yeah. on the phone. He was going to kill me a murderer. Was he was going to kill me a murderer. He wasn't going to kill you. Let's be friends, huh? Yeah, let's be friends. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, which one of us could think of the line? Oh, let's be friends. <laughs> There'll be a test pattern in three minutes. <laughs> all I know is, all I know is that you're trying to murder me, that's all. Oh, no, I'm not trying to murder you. Come on, let's make up. Let's go have a cup of acid. Uh -huh. Aha! Acid! Aha! Uh -huh. You heard that, didn't uh -huh. you? You heard it! Uh -huh. Acid! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You're gonna kill me! You wanna kill me! Uh -huh. Yes, you do want to kill me. Hey, Thomas, have you seen my gun? Your gun? Yes. Why accuse me of seeing your gun? I have no idea what your gun is. No, I've been sitting around. I haven't been doing nothing. How come you're walking like this? 
I've always walked like this. <laughs> I never noticed this. Seven years. You're not very observing. <laughs> Laura, you, you sure you didn't take my gun? No, don't be silly. Well, let's... then uh, let's start rehearsals. Come huh? on, let's go. Yeah, let's dance first. No, let's do the song, that number we're gonna do. Let's dance. Let's dance. Yes, two of those tough To you. For heaven's sake, my favorite pipe. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you do things like oh, that? Oh, Dean, to me? I'm sorry. I just been scared, that's all. Well, that's all right. Let's forget about the whole. Which yeah. one of you guys wants the job done? He does! <laughs> And the gang is gay. Are you alone with a stubbly chin? But I shaved just a while ago. Shaved? All you got was a half-day shave. But you could have had an all-day shave the Palm Olive Lather Shaving Cream way. Yes, it's Palm Olive Lather for an all-day shave. A shave that most men find really lasts from morning till night. The Palm Olive Lathered Shaving Cream Way was tested by 1,200 men. And no matter how they shaved before, seven out of 10 reported cleaner, closer shaves. Try it yourself. See how Palm Olive's rich, billowy lather lets you cut whiskers off right down at skin level. See if your face doesn't feel velvet smooth. Your shave cleaner, closer, and mighty comfortable too. You'll never be alone with a stubbly chin again if you change to the Palm Olive Lather Shaving Cream Way, just follow package directions for an all-day shave. Get Palm Olive Lather today. And men, to top off that perfect shave, use the lotion that cools in seconds and soothes for hours. It's new Palm Olive After Shave Lotion. <laughs> Hello. I've just been uh, rereading the Arabian Nights. It's wonderful. Do you know the most fascinating character in the book was the old whipping boy? You see, in those days, it was against the law to strike a son of royal blood. Even the king or caliph couldn't lay a hand on his own son. So every prince had his own whipping boy, and the arrangement was very simple. Any time the prince was mischievous or got out of line, the caliph or king just beat the brains out of the poor unfortunate whipping boy.
Alas, O oh great and noble Mufti, I am the ruler of all Baghdad, for today my heart is heavy with the evil and the wicked deeds of Abdul, my eldest son. Abdul is coming! Abdul is coming! See how he leaps from balcony to balcony! Pop your old hound dog, you! <laughs> what are you doing there? Abdul, one of these days, zone <laughs> right on the countenance! <laughs> I, 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 Pop, you know, you can't whip me. I'm the prince. I have a special whipping boy for that. You had a whipping boy, but with all your mischief yesterday, we buried him this morning. How about that? Fourth this week. Boy, I'm really lousy, ain't I, Pop? I have prayed to the Mufti for a new whipping boy, and when I find him, you shall suffer more! That's okay, I dig suffering, Pop. <laughs> dig suffering? What sort of job on a dick? Oh, great prince, we have caught a thief in the palace. Oh, this is just a cat I've been looking for. <laughs> Bring him in it! Bring in the thief! Come on, Nave! Are you Nave? Are you Nave? A plague on thee, thou father of a nail file. Oh. <laughs> you fathers of space cadets. <laughs> Be gone. Oh, you monsters of a seal. Brothers I'm of a dog. Bird. I'm a dog. Why, you two-ton roton. <laughs> you owe if I thought of something. Kneel before the prince. <laughs> oh, father of a word. Oh, sister of an ant. Oh, I love a mother. Oh. Oh, spare me! Oh, oh spare the... me, Mom! Oh, oh, oh. The lady stopped me. I was running out. <laughs> Who are you, see? Who am I? I am the son of Tony Curtis. Tony <laughs> Curtis! <laughs> oh, yes, oh, Prince. Oh, I used to be the Prince who was a gunner. But now... Oh, <laughs> how, how would you like a job? I, sire? Oh, thank thee. Oh, Baghdad, be thine. Oh, be thine. Would you oh. like a job? Oh, yes. Where? Oh, where? Tell me, won't you, oh, prince? Yeah, here's the cool palace. Crazy, man. <laughs> I would like a job, oh, my sire. Ah. Now, this job, this job here requires a strong man, and you look, oh, you look bad to me. Well, you see, I've had virus. <laughs> <laughs> but I can be strong. Oh, yes, sire, I can be strong. Listen to this. You're the guy that gave it to my camel in the back. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I must have the job. Tell me what I am to do. Oh, please give me my job. Come on, Princey. Tell me what to do, Princey. I'm going to tell you what to do. I'm going to give you a chance. You're going to be my own special whipping boy. All right, now wait a darn minute. Now, just wait one darn minute. <laughs> Don't talk to the prince like this. Oh, sister of a seal, father ah. of a whale. Now, listen, I'm going to tell you what to do, see? Oh, tell me what you do. You know what a whipping boy does? A whipping boy? Yes, I whip people. I hit them and all that. No, not quite that. You see? Now, when I ring this gong like this, you come and run, see? The next contestant's from Newark. She does no. a tap dance. <laughs> See, that's what you do. When you hear that, you come running out. Yes, I you. will. Oh, I will. Oh, thank you, father of a new nose. Oh, <laughs> singer. <laughs> Come to my attention 
that you broke into the harem again. Is this true? It sure is, Pop. And let me tell you, you got a nice batch of chicks back there. <laughs> Real crazy chicks. Oh, I wish we had a whipping boy. <laughs> but we have. Yes, yes, we have. I got a special whipping boy. Where is he? Watch. Be my guest. Watch this. Watch. You come and run it. <laughs> For whipping? <laughs> Abdul, you have been wicked, and for that, you must suffer. <laughs> Did it hurt you, Abdul? Did it hurt you? Fine, fine. From now on, I want you to be good. Good, 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 good. Chicken strong, Pop. It's a nice job I got. <laughs> Now, give me the key to the harem. I said, give me the key. <laughs> you kidding. <laughs> give me that key or I shall have to use no, the No, no, no. Give I, him the key. Give him the key. I shall use the no, no. I hate to do this, my son. Uh, you can't hurt me. Give me that key. Oh, oh, no. oh, give it to him, Abby. Give it to him, Abby. <laughs> give me that key. Oh, oh. Give the kid the key. All right. I think you made a very wise decision. <laughs> Broken arm, all bleeding. <laughs> yes. Now, now, my boy, if I ever catch you breaking into my harem again, it will go hard with you. Is that clear? It's clear. Is it clear? Yes, yeah, it's clear. <laughs> yes, it's clear. Kill him. Yes, sir. Isn't he overacting a little bit? Yes, sir. <laughs> no, is this a lot better? Huh? I don't know from this job. I don't understand this. I know he don't like to hit you, you know. It hurts him to hit you because you're his kid, but it's killing me. <laughs> you told me I was going to be a whipping you're boy. You're a whipping boy. This is a whipping boy. You mean every time you do something, you hit... Good day. Oh. <laughs> We're going to have a lot of fun now. Yeah? We're going to have a party. Oh, goody, goody, gumdrop. Oh, ha, ha, boy. What's this? All righty. Look at this. Ah. Uh, uh, how dare you? <laughs> is this fun? Have oh, you right. ever had so many laughs? This, this is terrific, yep. This is great. You thought that was great? Where is this? Who this? wrote this sketch? The Nuremberg jury? <laughs> Oh, here comes a player from USC. <laughs> this is outrageous. <laughs> Have you ever had so much fun in your life, a whipper? I'd like to invite some of my friends over. <laughs> but this is going to stop everything. What? Hold on. Hold on a semester. Oh, no. Oh, no, this is a truck driver. Take it easy. Oh, no, don't kiss her. No, she'll kill me. Don't kiss her. Look at her, hold up a donkey. No, donkey, don't kill, kill me. Look at her, correct her, take her for a morning, but donkey. Donkey, don't. All right, I won't kiss her. Oh, so I'm not good enough to be kissed. Oh. <laughs> from this job. I'm not interested in this kind of a job. That's a good thing. No, it's not a good thing. It's a good job. It's not. Oh! That is back. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite wife, and this you would do to me. I never expected that you would do such a thing to me. <laughs> the boy who is Hey! 
For that, you shall have no supper. No. You hear? <laughs> you're right, you're right. Boy, when you're right, Pop, you're right. Yes, that was. Yeah, yeah. No supper! But you meant him. That's right. I'm sorry, you meant me. No supper. Uh, give me a banana. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'll eat again, Pop, I'll eat again. My boy, yes? you have suffered long enough. Now you may eat something. No, please. <laughs> no. Uh, uh, please eat something. No. For <laughs> me, for Nan. <laughs> All right. It's too late. Take yeah. <laughs> 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 my heart, my love. kitchen sink up to twice as easy, twice as fast. Use Ajax, boom, boom. the foaming cleanser. Get things clean just like a whiz. You stop paying the elbow tax when you start cleaning with Ajax. So use Ajax, boom, boom. the foaming cleanser. Fluff the dirt right down the drain. Ajax leaves no gritty cleanser scum. In top or sink. So use Ajax, boom, boom. the foaming cleanser. Boom, boom, boom. Get things clean just like a whiz. Boom, 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 boom. Remember, Colgate's Ajax foams as it cleans. Ajax cuts grease faster than any other leading cleanser. Ajax polishes as it cleans. Mmm, and it smells good, too. So use Ajax. Why not see for yourself how Ajax cleans your kitchen sink up to twice as easy and twice as fast as any other leading cleanser. Get two cans for your kitchen and bathroom. Ajax, the foaming action cleanser. <laughs> Don't be a scared. Splendid. <laughs> My luck charm. I never go on a stage without it. Ladies and gentlemen, very seriously, I would like to say that we get so many wonderful letters from so many nice people that we thought we would just take a spot in the show and answer them at one time. Many people would like to know when we'll be touring the country. Well, it's coming this summer. 
As of May the 14th, Dean and I will open at the Fox Theater in Detroit for one week. That's May the 14th, so you're very nice people in Detroit. We'd like for you to come in. And those in Hamtramck, you can come too, of course. <laughs> we would like to say seriously also that on May the 23rd, Dean and I will be at the Chicago Stadium in Chicago for the very important Italian welfare benefit. We'd like you to buy your tickets and do a very wonderful thing for the Italian children in Europe. Then, on May the 24th, we play the PGA Golf Tournament for the Cancer Fund in New York City. Call Cancer in New York. They will tell you how to get your tickets. Oh, we're going to be so busy. Then, <laughs> on May the 31st, we do our final TV show of the season from New York City with the lights and the buildings and things and, oh. Then, after that, <laughs> we sail for Europe. Now, this is the important thing. If you want to get tickets for these engagements, listen carefully. Now, we open at the Royal Theater in Glasgow, Scotland <laughs> on the 15th of June and then the 22nd of June at the London Palladium in London. Listen to this carefully. From there, we go to the Lowy Sweden for four days. <laughs> now, after the four days in, in Sweden at the Lowy's, we go to the RKO Vienna. That's for five days in Vienna. And then on to Howard Johnson's in Constantinople for a week. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, now that that's taken care of, I'm very thrilled and excited about something that was shown to me today. This is Parents Guide magazine. This is a very, very wonderful magazine written for children and parents and so on. And we would like very much to make mention of the fact that they're gonna give me something kind of like. And uh, what are you looking at the magazine so long? And uh, I would like to kind of introduce this gentleman who's the editor-in-chief and the committee chairman of Parents Guide magazine, Mr. Frederick Thompson in our audience. We'd like a nice hand for a very nice man. Mr. Thompson. <laughs> We're very, very happy to have you on our show, Mr. Thompson. Thank you. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jerry, as you know, Parents Guide magazine is a publication devoted to the interests of parents and children throughout the country. Now, we're not an awards committee. As a matter of fact, we've never given an award before. But this time, we felt we just had to do something. So, Jerry, on behalf of Parents Guide, representing 22 million parents and children, I take great pride in making this presentation. Oh, allow me to read the inscription, if I may. To Jerry Lewis, in consideration of the vast influence he holds over the minds and mores of American children, in appreciation of the superior comedic talent with which he has brought joy to their hearts, and in recognition of the example he set before them, Parents Guide magazine is proud to tender this award. Thompson, <laughs> first time in a long time, I didn't know what to say. Well, uh, all I can add, Jerry, is you deserve this award. Thank you. And I'm proud to have made it. Thank you very much, Mr. Thompson. I appreciate it. <laughs> this is a great thrill getting an award from parents and children. I suppose mainly because I do an awful lot of things, you know, radio, television, and pictures with the aid of Dean, of course, but more or less on my side of the partnership, I do some things like in one show a few months ago I hit my mother on the head when I was playing the part of a child with a lamp and some kid in Newark who liked me hit his mother on the head only he sent her to the hospital for five days with stitches <laughs> so I'm very happy to get this award to see that the mothers and children don't hold these things against me it's very thrilling I would like very much to say that I would like to say that uh, a Getting an award is... Uh, I, 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 don't, I don't have to... Thompson, uh, 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 I'm almost... I want to continue... Mr. Thompson! <laughs> sing about three or four thousand more songs what? and then we'll go off with a nice right. what is what is it i'm your partner i know this i know it a and i like that song and everything dean and i thought that uh, <clears throat> you thought what well speak up speak up I i'm ashamed 
It's going to be a shame we're out here in front of 40 million people. What are you ashamed of? Well, <laughs> well, you see, Dean, I like that song you sang and everything like that. And uh, every once in a while, you let me sing, and you're swell, ginger, peachy, and sterling for doing so. <laughs> and uh, I thought that you'd love to be more or less keen tonight uh, uh, if you would allow me to sing that song. I like that number. If the red, red robin will lost, who I will see, baby. Wow. If you want to sing it, go ahead. All right. Sing it. That's Ask Dick if he'll play it. Dick. Here. Yeah, but I got plenty. Dick, could you play uh, <clears throat> the red, red robin song that Dean sang? Could you play it in my key for me? Well, Joe, I'll tell you, we have a friend. No, I mean, drive. just let me know. I mean, because well, Dean, Dean will let me do it. Tempo was kind of funny. No, wait, thing, no, wait, it? Dick, no. L listen, you see, Dean probably let me sing it. I've got to ask the boys. No, no, wait, sing. no. Will I just, you I'm stop a... stuttering and ask him if no, you can I sing No, I am. No, wait, no. One sec, no. Listen. Ask no, him. No, no, this is not, this is no, this is not funny. No, there's no, listen. No, listen. No, wait. No, 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 wait. No, wait. What are you asking? Will you wait? No. No, wait. Listen. Now, will you just, uh, could you play this song in my key? Answer him, Jack. No, wait. No, wait. No, no, listen. No, I just, no, listen. No, no, listen. No, 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 it's just a question. No, wait for no, wait, sir. Wait, no, listen. No, I want, just tell me, yes or no. That's all I, no. Oh, tell you, Jerry, listen, I'm trying to ask him. I'm, I want him to answer. Yeah, no, listen. Just, Wait, well, no, what? Him. No, that's all I'm... Just one sec. Listen, I'm going to find out. Could you play this song in my key? Well, no, so. yes or no? <laughs> yes or no? That's all. No, that's all I ask. No, listen right. to me. All right. No, is this fair? I'm only asking, yes. see? No, I'm asking. I want to yes or no. Is that hard? Yes, yes. yes or no? Do you understand what evil man? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no? Listen, could you play this song? Little friends tell me... Here we go again. Listen, Dick. <laughs> Would you play this song in my key? I've got the answer. No, listen, no, listen. No, listen, he's got to answer me. Will you hold it a second now? The thing is all over. You can't, you can't play it for you because it's not arranged in your key. How do you like those apples, Shirley? Well, <laughs> I, I, I was just wondering. Thanks a lot for your time. That's all right. Uh, <laughs> like, uh, well, let's do something sort of ad lib now. What do you think I've been doing for four <laughs> No. Where? What? Ladies and gentlemen. Wait, you want to just let's talk social? Can we see the card, please? What does it say? Just show us the card you just showed us. These people. That's good. Cool. That's a nice can card. Can you people see what this says? <laughs> one minute. How can you fight this? <laughs> this is clear, clean cut one. You see this? See, this is deathly already. <laughs> We've got, we have this now, 30. Which one do we have? One or 30? Speak up. One minute! Oh, boy, then we don't need those! One thirty. All right, oh. what do you say we, uh, well, let's do some kind of routine that we did when we were, uh, starving in, uh, Steubenville. Remember that time, uh, <laughs> <laughs> No, I have something of the utmost importance to tell the people. Ladies and gentlemen, we want you to know that coming up is Brotherhood Week. <laughs> and all you brothers... <laughs> All you brothers who have hoods for brothers, we want you... <laughs> Forget about that bit. We just want to tell you about that. That There's... wasn't dirty. I know it wasn't dirty. dirty. He was afraid I was going to say a dirty way. No. <laughs> we just want you people to know that next week... With Adrian, who <laughs> we just want you to know next week, ladies and gentlemen, our good and wonderful little friend, Mr. Edward Cantor. Edward Cantor. Edward. If Edward. you knew Sadie like I know Sadie, oh, 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 oh what a man. You never knew yeah, that I would have... Right, hold it a second now. You <laughs> tell us wonderful people about MDA next week. Go We'd ahead. We'd like you to know that MDA, ladies and gentlemen, is a charity that Dean and I try very hard to help as much as we possibly can. If you can send your contributions to MDA, New York 8, New York, we would appreciate it very much. We're off the air, aren't we? The camera's off and everything. What happened to the light? Oh, there we are. You try to get away, but you can't. Until we see you on May 31st, thank you, good night, and God bless you. God all. bless you all. Good night. The Colgate Comedy Hour has been presented by Halo Shampoo. Ajax Cleanser. The new wash day suds. And palm olive lather shaving cream.
off the shelf. Well, where's the plate? Down here? Oh, I see. All right. <laughs> over the top, honey. <laughs> oh, over here? All right. <laughs> where's the mark? Wait, which box? Oh, look at them. They're going mad. <laughs> You have a headache, haven't you? Eh? Oh, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, before we really get started, I do have to make mention of the fact that we have a new picture coming out that Hal Wallace, our very wonderful producer, produced. And it's a very funny picture. It's called Scared Stiff. Now, it opens in, oh, theaters all over the country. <laughs> and we want you to see it. Uh, Decoration Day is the release date. It's called Scared Stiff, and Hal Wallace produced it. And this producer is one man. Uh, so go <laughs> Everybody, hello. Halo Shampoo presents the inside story of the wolf and Little Red Riding Hood. Hi, Red Riding Hood. Where are you going? That's a pretty silly question from a wolf. Well, I'm going to Grandma's for a shampoo. And don't try any funny business. Shampoo, hey? Just a minute. What do you use for shampoo? This stuff. Why? Uh, it's no wonder your hair looks like a bale of hay. Don't you know soaping dull's hair? Halo glorifies it. You're sure this isn't just one of you? <laughs> and now to our first game of Guess the Guess. Hey, panel, cover your eyes. You know, peeking now. Good. Now, will our two guests check in, please? guests this evening. Now, let's see if you can identify them. Come on, try and guess who we are. Come, come, uh, come. Uh, they know us in, in every home in the country. Oh, you're plumbers. Oh, shut up. Plumbers. Plumbers? How can we be plumbers? What, is she crazy or something? No, What no. kind of crazy dame is this? What, a plumber? What, is she crazy? What kind of an answer is this? Listen, maybe a little... Listen to this. Boy, I'm out of your trick. No, I've turned on it. Come on, let's go to your grandma's house. I'll give you the best shampoo you ever had. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello, shampoo. Hello. Remember, soaping dulls hair. Halo glorifies it. Leaves it fragrant, dandruff-free, and wonderfully easy to manage. So, hello, everybody. Hello. Hello, shampoo. Halo. What a glorious feeling when you shampoo with Halo to be sure your hair looks its lovely best. Soft and shining, hauntingly fragrant, amazingly easy to manage. So next time you buy a shampoo, remember, get Halo. Soaping doll's hair. Halo glorifies it. <laughs> Miss Lewis, in taking out this partnership insurance policy, you've made the smartest move of your career. Now, if something should happen to either one of you, the other one is protected. Yes, sir. A million dollars worth of protection. Congratulations, How gentlemen. about that? You know, that insurance policy, that's, that's a great thing. Yeah. You mean, if something should happen, just imagine, if something happens to me, you get a million dollars. Yeah, in cash. <laughs> of course, it works the other way, too, Mr. Martin. Oh, sure. Remember, Dean, if anything happens to me, then you get a million dollars. Beware, Who are we? I know. You're not in show business. Yeah, yeah. Why? <laughs> what, are they crazy or something? Where'd they get these crazy people? What is this? Let me get... Come here, lady. Uh -huh. Lady, look. Take the hands away. Look at me. Who am I? Robbie McDowell. <laughs> <laughs> crazy or something, lady? Hey, you. Take look at my partner. Take a me. look. Who am I? Look. John Carradine! What? What are they, crazy? What are you people? Not the dumb Well, I don't know who you are. I don't like you. Hey, Mr. Martin, hello, hello. You did it again. 
Fine, you made buffoons out of us. Can't even, don't even know how to spell your own name. Well, what do you want from me? I can't help it if I'm not well. Well, I'll tell you what, to just forget the whole thing, announce my song. I don't have to fight a one. I always have to announce your song, and I don't want to. You don't want to announce my song? No. Okay, then just announce a song. Okay. <laughs> hey, you're confusing. <laughs> La ladies and gentlemen, I don't have to tell you that we've missed you. We've been away from you for some time, but not because we want you. We've been working in pictures, and in television, we have a, a, a shop, you see, where we fix sets during the week, and uh, it just takes up all of our time. <laughs> The Colgate Comedy Hour. Starring Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis. With Mary McCarty. Betty Rubin, Sheldon Leonard, Danny Arnold, Faye McKenzie. Saul Sealtime and Wheel, Bird and Wheel. Presented by the Colgate Pummel of Pete Company, makers of Halo Shampoo. Ajax Cleanser. Fab, the new wash day suds. And palm olive lather shaving cream. And now, the Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis Show. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another session of Guess the Guess. Our panel tonight consists of those international celebrities, Wanda Wick, a Harvey Foon, <laughs> Bernie Sneed, and Arnold Weed. And I'm your moderator, Sidney.